and to falling on your ass. Get used to those two sound effects. That's fuck, most of what you'll ever fuck hear. You. So Back to the controls. Check out this crap. You can never see where you're going because you're always wasting the screen. You can't do the fucking thing. No, 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 no. Instead of giving you freedom to walk around, you have to follow the path. Apparently, Ted can't it's walk on grass. Me in the corner you can't get near the side of the path. If you cut the corner too sharp, what the hell's you get stuck. Oh my God, I can't and it's on the most <laughs> what the possible. fuck? Oh, my eyes. So fuck. God. You jump into the green, oh, and you're stuck as a dog turd on a hot I summer side. You have to keep hopping until you get out. It's like trying to get out of the sand trap on a golf course. And with those jump sound effects, it really reminds me of NES golf. This is among the most dies? annoying things in what video gaming fuck? history. This is like the fucking bombs. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. The narrow jumps in the turtles, the snipers, and Dick Tracy, the scares, the Ghostbusters, the pits, and the Ghostbusters. And the impossible. Sometimes it lets you walk on the green. Yeah. Sometimes. It's one of those games that keeps changing the fucking rules. What happened here? Where'd I go? Without some kind of glitch. Random guys. Oh, some of them take your coins and some of them take your coins. Fuck, 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 there's no straight attack. How about give me a crossbow or something? You know, you know what your, you know what this weapon is? It's a textbook. A fucking textbook that explodes. By the way, this won't change history at all. Let's go around blowing people up. Let's kill some ancestors. That's real great. As long as it doesn't affect the wild stallions concert, when they come back to the present, it's gonna be some kind of Planet of the Apes shit. They're gonna be playing to an audience full of intelligent sloths. And other items you can get is an audio cassette. I love how the knight casually says, Bill will ask me to give you this audio cassette, as if the knight would have any idea what that is. What does it do? It plays music and makes everybody dance. It's real helpful, especially since you don't even need a cassette player. Just throw the cassette on the ground. Hey, wanna listen to some tunes? Come on, man. It's not cold, patience. You're playing off my brain. You don't have to do anything and talk about the So where is Reverend? You can explore this whole land, but you won't find him anywhere. That's because you need to lure him out with bait. What is he, a fucking fish? Bait can be any oh, random object. There's four of them oh, hidden on each one stage. Of one of them will make Rembrandt appear in one of the random oh, houses. How do you find this bait? Oh, you want to know? Right. Guess what? By jumping into things. Look okay. at that. Input here. Bad pad. This game treats you like an idiot. Bad pad. Like, hey kids, you want to play a Bill and Ted game? Well, good. here you go. You go jumping around in the streaming? fucking bushes and fences. Fuck here, That'll dude. keep you busy. Have no fun. IQ is low. There's no shortcut IQ around. Is low. You have to play on the entire stage, stupid. jumping into everything. You and I mean everything. There's people who give you clues. Sometimes you're doing everything that my smart brain commands you to do. Other times, you have to select your own responses. The right answer will lead to another thing you have to respond to, and then another, and you just get stuck in this whole dialogue tree. I hate this shit. All the answers are the same surface for all the bullshit. How are you supposed to know which is the right answer? Also, you have to use A to switch the response, and B to select the response you want. How about just left or right, and then the button to select? Because the first time playing, you'll never know if it's A or B, so you always end up selecting something that you don't want. Error, and it's not intuitive at all. Is. When you do get a clue, it's always something vague, like look for just something strange in a giant or look at any crossroads. That really helps. Near the crossroads? Which fucking crossroads? This is Castlevania 2 or Zelda 2 bullshit. And I love it when they use directions like north and south. The game is slanted at a 45 degree angle. Which way is south? How about a compass? How about a map? How about anything? Oh, that's nice. I'm stuck. Is this where the scenery runs out? Then there's all these open doors and you can't go in. That's another peeve of mine. If you can't go in the door, 
don't have a door there. At least make the door closed. It's a psychological tease. I hate games that do that. Fucking fuck the townspeople. Fuck not knowing where to go. Nintendo power. Typical players. That's what this game is built. That's what this game is built for. Grabs. Hard knockdowns. Who can play? What dumb player can beat smart? This is a fighter friendly sport. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Well, it helps to visualize the layout of the stage, but where's the starting point? I'd like to know where I am. You know what? That's because the game always starts in somewhere different. You can control where it starts. When the time service finishes, you're supposed to hold up or down or some shit. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Then there's certain doors that act as warp zones and transport you somewhere else. The magazine doesn't tell me that either, nor does it tell me where the historical dudes are. I know they appear in random houses, but there's probably a few different designated spots. For the bait, it just gives you a circle showing no the vague area where they are, and not the exact push or fence. This is one instance when Nintendo Power just didn't bother because the game was too shitty. At least I have an idea where to look now. Nice, I found something. By looking at the magazine, you may call that cheating, but the game doesn't even play by its own rules. Bill and Ted were the ultimate cheaters. What have we learned from the movie? If you're failing your history course but happen to have access to a time machine, bring the history to the classroom. If that happened in real life, would the teacher give them an automatic A or say, yeah, 